Hey, Betty Bash. It's the 4th of July, 2018. And there's a few things I need to show you here that uh, have come to me that are showing this pattern again. And the pattern, you know, I need to establish that the three I'm seeing separate from the 11 is God, is the triune, is the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, God, three. And the 11 is the judgment, is the chaos, okay? And this is the pattern that has been just laid upon me hard and heavy today that I just want to show you. And um, it, it began here in this article. It came out today in the Las Vegas Sun. Uh, USPS owes $3.5 in royalties for using the wrong Statue of Liberty. Isn't that strange? Apparently, our competent postal service used the image of this Statue of Liberty in Las Vegas for their own stamps. And now they've been sued and have to pay up royalties to the original artist. Now, that's weird in and of itself, right? And I can leave you these links so you can go through all this because it's it's pretty wild, to be honest with you, but it's ridiculous more than anything. It just shows how this world cannot operate without fault because it's fallen, because it's tainted, it's leavened. And you need Jesus in order to separate yourself from the darkness and the dirtiness of this world. Okay? So I see that first and foremost. I look at USPS. Now you need to understand this. USPS, this is a numerology table. This is what they use. This is one of their favorite languages, especially the likes of NASA and whatnot. They love their numerology. USPS is nothing less than a 3171. There's your 311 and a 711 in USPS. Let's just take USA. What do we have there? We have 3, 1, 1. So there begins the pattern that I'm showing you. Right from the get-go when I saw this article. So I continue. I know that there's something here. But I continue looking around because that's how it works. Until I'm led to do a video, I just keep looking. This one came across my desk. This is These are all from the last day. Police found neglected 33 Shih Tzus in a sweltering Manhattan apartment. 33 Shih Tzus. 11, 11, 11. Okay. This is the apartment building right here in New York City. It's at number 641 East 13th Street. 641, 11, 13. Okay. So it's like right there in everything I see thus far. Okay. So this is how I know that I'm seeing a pattern develop and an understanding of what it means. At least my portion, you know, my portion is definitely sufficient. I can tell you that. Um, so I see these two things, right? And then, of course, it comes... I don't know what the deal is with the maps lately, but it comes into my mind, it comes into my spirit to look at the dimensions between the real Statue of Liberty and this apartment in Manhattan, where the 33 dogs were found on 13th Street at 64111, right? So I do. I go to the maps because I have to, right? This was earlier. And wait till you see all this stuff that's attached to this. It's just crazy, you guys. But, you know, I'm just... I got to show you. So I go into Google Maps and I find where the dogs were, right? 641 um, East 13th Street in Manhattan. And I go there. And there's the building right there. Looks just the same as it does in the article. See the, uh, the cul-de-sac there? See where it says end? There's the building right there. You can see it. Same place. There's the cul-de-sac. There's the building right where they show it. Right there. I put the line and I go to the Statue of Liberty. And once I did this, I, it, it sealed the deal. I, I knew that we were being shown something here. 
But there's that line right there. That would be this line from the exact spot to the exact Statue of Liberty. And we get a dimension of 4.44 miles. Okay. And if you take the heading on it, you will find that it is at 223 degrees. That's crazy. Okay. That's from Manhattan to Statue of Liberty, 444. And most people probably are aware that in Gematria, at least in English Gematria, we find that Jesus is 444 in the sixth count, the English, not the Jewish. The Jewish is the root of Gematria and is a whole different ballgame. I refer to the English as the six count, the number of a man. Count the number of a man. Simple gematria is just A1, B2, C3, times six, okay? So Jesus is 444, four, four. but so is Lucifer, okay? A lot of people might not know that, but Lucifer is also 444. Four, four. But you'll notice in the Jewish, it's a whole different ballgame, and that's important, okay? So... I know that Satan's signature is on here and that God is showing this to us. I know this and just revealing these things to us. So, so far, we're looking at the 311, the 13, the rebellion, the judgment, God's judgment. Okay? And these yellow lines right here, these are just north, south, east, west. That's all they are. North, south, east, east, west, rather. Okay? And you'll notice that the Statue of Liberty does not face east. Most people think that she does, but she does not. She faces south by southeast. But what I was led to take a look at here was the south direction. This is literally exact south. And if you follow this line down to the lower bay of, of New York, okay, this is the outlet into the Atlantic Ocean, you will find a devil. Okay? He's almost cartoon character looking, you know, if you remember back, if you're old enough, you'll remember like Snidely Whiplash, you know, the villain. That's exactly what this little devil depicts, and you can see him very clearly. I mean, if you just look, he's a horn, a horn, the top of his head, he's got black hair, eyes, eyes, his nose right there, his chin, he's even sporting a mustache, okay? That is a little devil just laughing and mocking the world and God and just whatever. This is Google Earth. You have to remember that. Google is not your friend, okay? Whether or not this devil is literally imprinted in the bottom of this bay, I have no idea. But there he is, right there. And from the Statue of Liberty, he is directly south, perfectly south. And <laughs> the funny part is is the amount of the uh, distance between the Statue of Liberty and this devil. Can't make this stuff up either. 11.3 miles. Okay? There you go. There's the 311 again. And it, and it just doesn't end there, you guys. It just pops into my head from something that I had found like a year ago. Babylon. I keep thinking Babylon, right? Now, out here in the ocean, out near the the shelf or whatever you want to call it here off of New York is a location called Babylon Canyon it's just it's a real place out there in the ocean and you can see all kinds of other images here in Google Earth because it's evil it's just that simple this is not a joke people this is this is just that spiritual war that spirit being shown to us it's manifesting up and we're given the eyes to see it so that we can know where we are in time and that we need to be ready. We need to be solid and strong in Jesus because judgment is coming, folks. It's on top of us, right along with the rebellion that's about to reveal itself in full force. Okay? So if I go from our little devil in the lower canyon directly out to Babylon Canyon, okay? This is just how things work, you guys. That's this line right here. And look at the properties of that line. And you get a load of this. 131 miles. Okay? At 303 degree heading. Now, you can make of this whatever you want. 
you know and now they're throwing out all these things i've seen i saw earlier uh russian subs they're getting all worried about in the atlantic ocean and as soon as i started reading this article which came out today oh i'm sorry yesterday or the, yeah the second okay two days old as soon as I start scrolling down here, I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. Look at this little tile here. What a day for navies. U.S. commissions, one nuclear sub. Russia, three. A 13 right off the bat. So, you know, we have that lurking around, which would be used more or less as an excuse if they were to do something to cause a catastrophe here, which I have no doubt is going to happen. But it's all part of God's judgment. And it's all under God. Nothing happens without God allowing it to happen. And he's been holding off this rebellion, this wickedness that's just bubbling to burst into your neighborhood. Just holding it off, waiting for every last one of you to realize you need a Savior. And that Jesus is the only one, the only way out of any of this. Okay? So... I had to show you this stuff. It's just the way it is. 33 dogs at 11 13th Street, right? Essentially. 444 to the Statue of Liberty. Just following all of these various articles that I'm seeing from today. I mean, this is just nuts. The dogs. Manhattan. The Statue of Liberty. The whole nine yards. <laughs> from the Statue of Liberty. 11.3. 311. And from that devil. Which... Man, you guys got to go and see this for yourselves. And maybe your Google Earth works better than mine. You see how the resolution isn't coming in all the way? When you get it good resolution, you can see that little devil as clear as day. And he happens to be exactly 131 miles from Babylon Canyon. Okay, this is the kind of stuff that just comes to me. I need to share it because I am seriously getting... That this whole thing is on the verge of busting forth. You need Jesus Christ. You get, I'm just telling you, if you don't see this stuff already, man, it's like open your eyes. Open your eyes before it's too late. I'm telling you, you need a Savior, and He's coming. And this rebellion is hot and heavy. And if you're caught without the security of Jesus and washed in His blood, then it will eat you up. So please seek him diligently. Ask him for the truth. Judgment is coming, people. It's coming. It's here. Don't wait. Seek Jesus today. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 